So now we move to 3D Studio, um, and what we're going to do is create a simple, um, plain primitive on which we're going to put our texture. So we click on the plain object here. Um, We'll create a square one because our image is square. Uh, we're going to set the segments down to just one a piece because we don't need that much detail on a, this simple flat texture. And then we're going to just uh, click and drag a simple vertical plane there. Zoom to that and we can see what we've got there. Uh, the next step is to put the texture onto that. So open up your material editor, which you can press M to do that. And we want to um, let's rename this one. Actually, we want to change it to a multi sub object and discard the old material. And we can delete down to just one material for this instance we've only got one texture to bring in here uh, which will be our dog click into that material and then you want to change that material to a G motor material <coughs> that's very important because that's uh, what all materials in R factor must be represented as so we're going to change that to G motor material and one of the first things you want to do is load in the texture so we click there and we click the bitmap button here and point it to our DDS file that we created in the previous step. Click this little uh, checkered blue and white box so that you can see the texture represented on the, the material editor and also on the, the objects that it's assigned to. Uh, back up a step to the parent material and we want to set the blend to source alpha and inverse source alpha and in this instance we'll also set it to two sided so that the um, the the texture would be displayed on both sides of this plane you you might not want to do that but it's uh, depends on what you're uh, trying to achieve that's all fine so what you want to do then is click this assign material to selection icon that'll put the texture onto our plane <coughs> and there you can see it. Now we're pretty much done but the one thing we need to do is we need to get the scale of this correct obviously at the moment we've got a uh, well let's have a look we go to the tools button use the measure tool here <coughs> and we can see this dimensions of the uh, the plane here so we've got a 23 meter high dog at the moment which is going to look a bit silly so uh, we'll use the scale option here and basically just click on all three axes here where they're all highlighted in yellow and just drag that down so that it's a more believable size so we'll bring that down to just under a meter or so there we go, that'll do and now if we zoom in we can see our, uh, our plane is probably a bit more realistically sized now uh, the one thing we want to do is for importing into Bob's Track Builder, you need the um, the object centered at the uh, at the axis where all the axes join. So we just want to move this um, this object across a bit and down a bit. There we go. It's not going to be exact, but it just uh, it'll appear in Bob's Track Builder better if uh, it's roughly in the middle. You certainly don't want it a long way off in the uh, in the model space over here because it will look very odd when you're trying to import it into uh, Bob's Track Builder. It'll displace it away from the point where you're trying to create it. So uh, the only other thing we need to do is move the uh, the axis point of this this object. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to rename this plane while I remember. And we can use the pivot, effect pivot only here. And now we are moving not the object but the, the 
pivot point and basically we're just going to bring that down to the center of the bottom of the plane object so it's just there look and that's the point at which uh, it places it on the ground effectively so that'll look a lot more realistic in Bob's Track Builder otherwise the the dog will seem to be sort of appearing halfway in the ground it'll be sort of embedded in the ground at the midpoint which we don't want so um, we're done there we can export that model out of uh, 3D Studio and that's it for the 3D Studio section of, uh, of this video